know if any of you guys have heard of this, but there's this old book series called Redwall. I never read it. I, I, I mean, I heard about it and I've heard reviews of it, but it caught my attention when I was younger because it starred, uh, it was all written around intelligent anthropomorphic animals. Um, good music, by the way. Well, apparently now there is a game such as we have here that is based on Redwall. In fact, it's not based on it, it is Redwall. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna be a mouse now, and but I'm not just going to be a mouse, I'm going to be the best mouse. I know you're all looking at me, it's like, dude, you're a bird, you can't be a mouse. I'm going to mouse. I'm going to figure out how to mouse, and I'm gonna do the best mousing that I can do. This is gonna be an adventure for us. Probably uh, several episodes, maybe five, six, seven, something like that. Um, a lot of story in this. Lots of characters in this. Uh, and apparently a lot of good voice acting. Uh, that's, that's what I've heard. So, let's see what we got. I, uh, I'm not gonna get in the way of the story. There, if there's gonna be a lot of narration and stuff, I will sit back and I will chill and I'll let that happen. I don't want to interrupt it. Mouse! Midsummer is only two days hence. I don't see how you can possibly be ready, Brother Jethro. Fear not, old friend. Formal assures me that the stage will be ready this evening, and I've never known him to be wrong. Everything will be quite all right. Cutting things close doesn't suit me. You know that. I'm a planner. I'm a philosopher. This whole business has my humors out of balance. There, there, Brother Wilport. You just let me fret about the play, and you make sure the feast is perfect. I'm especially looking forward to that hot root sun salad. That sounds good. Oh, yes, yes, quite right. There's much to be prepared. Friar Randall was concerned that the cheese and onion hogs bake was too heavy to follow the brazier leeks. He may be correct. You see? There's far more need for your talents in the kitchen than out here. Let your old friend do what he's good at, making a fool of himself. <laughs> oh, my. Very well. I'll take my leave. But please try to keep on schedule. You know how I pray. <laughs> Indeed, I do. I am scheduled to do. Sister Edelweiss, I trust William won't perish before he has a chance to taste the good friar's blackberry crumble. <laughs> Boy, now, it's hard to say. It is surely a bit of black water fever. Now I can't remedy with some metals and wort, but that foul temper, now, that just might be fatal. I'm not grumpy. No? Boy, Yoki, then why in the sharp tongue when I ask for that filthy old wind glass? The rusty old thing is reeking with mold and moyer. It's likely the cause of your fever for all the fuss it's bearing. Eh, sorry, Grandfather. I, um, found it in the library. Your nail. <laughs> You drinkers as tonic, and you'll be out storming dark forests with all them's dibbons afore a moon's turned her face this way, Perroy. <laughs> We're ready for hilltop camp, Brother Jethro. Shall we wait for you? No need to wait, lads. Carry on, and I'll be there shortly. Thank you for your legendary healing skills, sister. As always, we are in your debt. We? Oh, <laughs> I say it's just you who be so annoy. <laughs> Oh, I haven't seen this in ages, and such perfect timing, dear boy. Do you know who this weight glass belonged to, William? Honest truth, I just thought it was another trinket you'd packed away for no good reason. Trinket? Better waffles. This was one of the trusty tools 
beheaded by the Lilligrove Scout Corps back when Clooney the Scourge, that wretched pirate, laid siege to Red Wall Abbey. And it so happens that this very thing has a role to play in the story we'll be telling for the Abbot's celebration. I've written a play to share one of my lost legends with all of Red Wall. Of course, everyone knows about Matthias and Constance and Basil Staghair, but few know about the trio of brave woodlanders from Lilygrove who played a crucial role in those events. Have you ever heard of Liam or Sophia Rivermouse? No, but, um... No? I don't suppose you could be telling me the story, since I'm bedridden and ailing, and might not live to see the play. Please? <laughs> ah, let's see. Well, to be... Ah! Clear, ah, yes. Initiation. T'was a frozen evening in midwinter. The sky was clear, but for a loosely bound fleet of easterly clouds that wore the light of twilight and had earlier that day dusted the hollows of the weathered oaks with snow. A frosty breeze stirred the heavy locks of the cypresses' winter needles, and two mice warmed their paws against the January chill. Liam and Sophia were young, ambitious, and betrothed. Both had trained hard to join the ranks of the Lilligrove Scout Corps, a rather storied group of woodland rangers who kept safe the lands betwixt Mossflower Country and the Mountain Warrens. Sounds important the one to me. had graduated that week prior, and now it was time for the other to prove their mettle. Once initiated, they planned to wed. Oh! But that was not to be. <clears throat> not yet, anyway. Initiation night. It's finally happening. Oh, we've planned so long for this. And now that it's here, I'm not sure I'm ready. I feel the same way. I haven't the faintest notion of what comes next. It's exciting, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and frightening. frightening. Alas, I am late. I hope you'll pardon it. The fiery ring of devastation needed to be refueled. Huh? I trust neither of you caught a shiver. I was sick with the wretch for my initiation. <laughs> Didn't make a bit of difference, though. A scout needs to be ready, no matter the situation. So, which one of you is in the dock this fine winter evening? <laughs> in the dock? Um, uh, I'm gonna be a boy mouse. I'm a boy bird, so I'll be a boy mouse. That would be me, and I'm not about to wretch. <laughs> Uh, what do we do now? <laughs> Quite sure, are you? Uh, Sophia, I trust you didn't tell our initiate about the adder's eggs. <laughs> Not a peep, sir. The secret is safe with me. It makes me a proud mouse to see youngsters like yourself continuing with the Scout Corps. In order to become a full member of the Lily Grove Scout Corps, you must complete a series of tests to prove you've got the metal. These are the things you've been training for for the last several moons, so I don't expect any surprises. I'm so excited for you to finally join us as a fully-fledged scout, Liam. Oh, and guess what? Coyle's going to let me oversee your trials myself. Captain Robin thought I'd be too biased to be the best judge of your skills, but I assured him I've never gone easy on you before, nor will I start tonight. Now, we'll start by heading to a nearby cave. It's treacherous, but nothing you can't handle. Plus, I'll be there to guide you. You'll do great. I know it. Oh, and before we go, take this. A proper scout's got to have an adventurer's journal. Oh. Oh, look, we have things. I d wait, I was looking at my things. Why do you not? Oh, that's why you're, okay. Documents. Since Okay. Well, let me uh, experiment here and see what I can do. If, um... For those of you who don't know what this is, if you can imagine... Um, just sentient little creatures like mice or, you know, badgers, foxes, things like that. But they're... Imagine them back in, like, medieval times. 
that's what this is like. If you're a uh, an old school furry, I, the new school furry fandom, I don't even think they're interested in this crap anymore. They're they're on a different path now. But uh, old school furries loved this kind of stuff. And even if you're not a furry, it's still really fascinating if you're just a fantasy fan. So I'm I want to share this with you. And uh, can I? I can talk to you. What are you lollygagging around here for, initiate? Don't you want to be a scout? There's work to be done. Uh, gotcha. Okay. So, okay, I can run. I can jump. That's all I can do right now. Oh, wait. Well, ain't that fun. Okay. All right. Let's see what this has for us. I'm... Obviously, there's going to be a lot of story, so, uh, should be fascinating, I think, in a fantasy uh, way, on. you know? I thought you were sticking around to oversee me. I am, but you've got to complete them on your own. I'll be around to help, even if you can't see me. Here we go. All you've got to do is follow the cave to reach each of your tasks. All right. I'm looking around. Okay. Um, am I... What? What is with the smoke? There's smoke everywhere. Uh, it looks nice. It looks very nice, actually. Uh, what? What do mice eat? Are mice just vegetarians? Do they eat stuff like deer? Ready to do start? For your first trial, you've got to figure out how to get across this gap. If I were you, I'd try using my trusty slingshot. Oh. Oh. Eat it. Great shot, Liam. Oh, you've always All right. had a knack for the slingshot. I'm now, the best mouse. Continue up ahead for the next trial. Whew. Well, that best mouse. That was nearly as hard as I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, I'm not nervous at all. You've got this, Liam. Your Sophia believes in you. Don't worry. You're going to be the best. You're going to be the best mouse. And yeah, well, I know mice. It's kind of a, a myth that mice like cheese. Cheese is just sort of normal to them. But do they eat like this? Do they eat, like mushrooms and crap. Is it might be fun to like be a smaller like herbivore creature because you would just be walking through a world of food. Could you imagine that? Like if you're just if your whole world was like steaks and pizza and you know, cheese and, and I don't know, corn dogs, tacos, shawarma, and you, you're just crawling all over them all the time because that's, that was just the world and you could just lean over and just take a bite out of some shit and then just keep going. That would be cool. I don't know what my seat. Why don't I know what my seat? That should be a simple thing. I know they like peanut butter. Am I tripping? What is this craziness with the smoke everywhere? All right. Okay. Whoop. Ready for your next trial? You've got to identify which flag your scent is passing over. But Sophia, there's no wind in this cave. Is there? Can't you feel oh. the cool draft, Liam? Or is your fur that much thicker than mine? As you know, scent travels on the wind, and wind is just about everywhere, even in these caves. If you pay close attention, you'll be able to sense the wind's motion all around you, almost as if you can see it. Watch the direction the wind is carrying your scent, and you'll never be caught unaware by your enemies. But ignore it, and anyone might come tracking you. Well, let's go into the pink flag, so... There That's we go. it! Good pick! Out in the wild, be sure to watch where your scent is being carried. Making sure your scent doesn't drift into the nose of a foe could be the difference between life or death. Now, shimmying across that ledge should help you cross this ravine. But you didn't hear that from me. An important thing to note in this game, uh, Okari, once again, is the god of this game, which makes me suspicious because he is a fox. Don't foxes eat mice? Okari, you calm yourself down. You're not going to eat me. Okay, I'm the best mouse. Um, so Okari is the god of this game. 
Another thing to remember. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I can get to the other. He looks kind of awkward, doesn't he? Okay. Where are we at? Are we? Whoop. Yes, another thing to remember is patreon.com slash ranting griffin. Uh, I just got back from a short vacation. It was about a week. And honestly, I missed working. I missed working for all of my patrons. In fact, I don't... I sat there every night worrying about them and, you know, all, if all my videos were coming out because I just love doing this. And if you want to support me, go over there. Drop me a few bucks now and then, and I will take that out and I will eat with it. And man, it just looks like it stank up in here with all the smoke floating around. Whoop. See, now that's a very mouse behavior, just running up a wall like that. All right. I'm gonna be mousey, I'm gonna run around. Mousey, mouse, mouse, mouse. For this next task, you'll need to determine which of the doors have a rat hidden behind them. A fake rat, that is. Oh. And avoid them. Only one of the doors is free of any intruder. That's the one you got to pick. Find the rat, huh? Huh. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just got to use my sniffer. Oh, oh, you can focus. I think this game is going to have a lot to do with smells. I mean, makes sense, right? Animals do smell. They use smell a lot. They sm animals smell a lot. <laughs> animals do smell, don't they? Boy, do they. Oh, well, there's not one here, right? Aha! No rat hiding okay. here. Best mouse. Job, Liam. Best mouse. I'm glad I haven't lost you to the rats yet. That's because I'm the best mouse. Whoop. All right. Uh, oh, I know how to do this. Bust. Eat it. Yeah. Best mouse. Um, see, um, I'm going to say that one of these days and then just like fall off a log and die. Something like that, I know it was going to happen. It's going to embarrass me. What is all... Good lord. Uh, okay. What is this? Here we'll be making use of our nose once again. First, I want you to focus on those peppers there. Learn the scent and commit it to memory. Spicy with a hint of earth. Altogether a fair bit pungent. I'd suggest logging all the scents you learn in your scout journal. Never know when you oh. may need to sniff out the difference between a mole and a mushroom. Well done! Hold that scent in your mind and remember, it's written in your journal if you need a refresher. Now, we know sniffing can help us see the unseen, but it can also help us identify different scents in the air. So, pick out the candle that smells like chili peppers. First of all, I don't know how you don't know what chili peppers smell like already. Because that's just an awesome smell and it's food. So this is all... See, there. There it is. Boink. There we go. All right, that's noted down now. I gotta find it again, right? And I gotta use this. Oh, hey, that looks like... That looks like... I love this. I love the little icons of what the smell is just floating in the air. Just chili pepper, chili pepper. Okay, well, I, I guess this is it. A perfect match, Liam. <laughs> Robin might cool. as well let us skip the rest of the trials. You're an expert already. Well, I owe my success to my instructor, Miss no, Sophia. Best mouse. You need to once again, shimmy along the wall to reach the final trial. Uh, but be careful. This one's got a twist. Oh! I am best mouse. I, uh... Wow. Okay. Yeah, I like it so far. It's the controls... I like the voice acting, I like the, the visuals, the sounds are good. The controls are a little bit jank. Ah, uh, well, a little bit. Not much, but a, it's a little hard to control. Not much. Nothing I'd complain about, but it's they're a little hard. They're like, wait a minute, what are you doing? Okay. See, right now, it won't push. There we go, there we go. Yeah, little things like that. Okay. Whoop! 
Well, now why? Why? I'm supposed to be the best mouse. Okay, we got it. I am I am the best mouse. Best mouse. And I know my friend Mouse who gives me the boxes in the unboxing is sitting back there going, Bitch, I'm the best mouse. <laughs> We're gonna have a mouse off. We will we will compete for mouseness. Oh what? Choose wisely. What's this about, Soph? Your final trial is a trial of stealth. You've Oho. got to use everything you've learned so far. Don't let the rats inside see or smell you. Luckily, us mice are quite small and firm and quite dull, so you should be able to sneak through, no problem. So all I have to do is get uh, by the rats without them spotting me, and then I'll finally be a scout. Yes, Liam. You'll be an official protector of Lily Grove. Uh, b by the way, back up. It's like, hey, you're mouse, but vermin are stu- Um, mice are vermin? Dude, let's let's make a note right here. Also, mice are vermin. Just just clearing that up. Okay, so that mouse is okay. We can't let him see or smell us. So we gotta make sure we. Okay. You ain't gonna. Okay, wait a minute. Wait. Whoop. Which way is my scent going? The scents are going. Oh, I need to do this. I need to do this. Okay. Uh oh. Hey ho. Hey! What the hell was that? This is Choose who. Wisely. Don't even. I already did. So yes. Okay, hold on. That was dumb. That was stupid. Cause I just I I got to that to the walkway there and I stopped walking. Apparently that board that was this far up stopped me from walking. <laughs> It wasn't my fault. I am the best mouse. That was not my fault. And I... You're fake rats. You're not even real. Get out of my face. We don't even like you. Okay. Okay. So this time, remember to jump over this because... Apparently that's that board right there was enough to stop me. All right. Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Well, uh, okay. Oh, good. Well, okay. Hi. Mother what? mice. What's all this? Congratulations, Liam, our newest member of the Lily Grove Scout Corps. So uh, I passed. And with flying colors. I look at like working. It, it just yet. looks like it stank so much in there. Quite certain. It's all the stink roaming yourself. around like goddamn. Take a shower. A sack full of dibbins. <laughs> Congratulations, the uh, I must confess. Oh God! I was of the mind that you weren't quite ready. It was yeah. Captain Robin who pushed for your somewhat expedited initiation. It would appear he saw something in you that I failed to. Until this evening, that is. <laughs> Ever since you were Dibbon, Liam, I thought you'd make an excellent scout. And you've never proven me wrong. Thank you, sir. It's an honor. Having completed your training, the official badge and equipment of office are yours to bear. A way glass, a rucksack, and, of course, the blooming lily on your jacket. It brings me great joy and a fair bit of pride to welcome you to the ancient family of the Lily Grove Scout Corps. There's just one more thing you have to do before you can really call yourself a scout. Follow me, Liam. Finally, you'll get to see Hilltop Camp and meet our very own scout chef, Ritzworth. Oh, damn. He'll help you with the soup. Soup? I thought we were gonna boink! Soup. The Scouts are founded on principles of service and fellowship. As such, we crown each new initiate with cooking the Scouts' supper their first night here. Well, Chip. after cooking for a family as big as mine, this'll be easy. Liam was oddly at peace. His soul, which had been sore anxious only hours before, was calm and his animus at rest. Yet despite a still and restful heart, a frigid wind slowly began to pick up from the south, and the crickets stopped their song. Unknown to any in Lilligrove, a black masted ship made landfall in secret. The shadow of a long and iron barbed tail crept up upon the unsuspecting village. 
Uh oh. Welcome Whoa. to Hilltop Camp, home of the Lily Grove Scouts. Wow. Your descriptions didn't give this place proper credit. Why don't you pull out your way glass and I'll give you the royal tour. See, I don't mind if they put me, it's like, oh, what, I have to cook the soup? That's what I, hey, put me in the kitchen. I'm comfortable there and I'm not bad. I'm not a bad cook. I don't mind cooking. I think it's awesome. So I'm fine with this. Oh. It is lovely. I do like it. Uh, but uh, there's things I have to look at specifically, like that. That there is the Lakeside oh, okay. Watchtower. It gives you a great view of the camp, but not much else. The hmm. actual night watch I've mentioned is at the lookout, but that's uh, closed for construction tonight. Yeah, so uh, don't go investigating or anything. Okay. Oh, okay, what's this? Those are the scouts' overnight tents. We don't always stay in them, but they're surprisingly cozy when we do. Yeah, I have to admit, the whole place looks cozy. If any of you out there aren't furries, and you don't really know what furries get into or why, uh, and I'm not talking about new furries, I'm talking about the old original furries, we just like this cozy idea of just like being little or even sometimes big creatures that would have their own little camps and still lived in like medieval or steampunk times. Just thought it was cool, you know? We love being things like werewolves, unicorns, dragons, things like that. Those tents are where the captains sleep. Since they're in charge of keeping the night fires and beacons roaring, they've pitched their stakes by the firewood store. Coil snores like a badger lord, though. <laughs> I don't know how Robert gets even a wink of sleep. What's this? Isn't that waterfall beautiful? You wouldn't guess when it's frozen over, but... Just up at its source is a hot spring. Oh. It's my favorite place at camp to dip my feet, especially after a fierce day of training. All right, so we're getting to know the place. This is good. Down there is our remarkably talented chef, Rootsworth. Honestly, he could be running the kitchens at Redwall if he wanted, but for some reason, he's content to cook for us humble scouts. Not that I'm complaining. You'll be checking in with him after you've collected everything for tonight's suit. That's uh, okay. That's the main tent. It's sort of like our very own great hall. We use it mostly for hosting guests from neighboring scout groups. We even have little shoe sized chairs for when members of the Gaussen come to visit. Oh. Well, oh. that concludes our tour of Hilltop Camp. Oh, and if you ever come across an odd pile of flat stones, just take a gander through your way glass. There may be something interesting to see you wouldn't have otherwise noticed. Now, Liam, you've got a soup to cook. Here, hmm. Rootsworth gave me this recipe for you to follow. First, you'll need to collect three beets from the garden. Beets, not radishes. Your sniffer can tell you the difference. Second, you'll need a cob of corn, a potato, and an onion, all which you'll find over at the obstacle course. Okay. And lastly, a wheel of cheese. Apparently, Freby's got it over by his tent. <laughs> oh, Freby. Always with his cheese. Part of initiation night is making the newest scout run around on a wild goose chase. But don't worry, it's all in good fun. Now, you better get collecting. Aren't you coming with? Uh, actually, I've got some scout business to attend to. So you'll have to finish preparing the soup on your own. If there's anything you want to talk about before I go, uh, be sure to ask me now. Uh, okay. Well, there it is. Three beats. Do the stuff. All right, it gives you a good idea of what you're supposed to... I, I like having a little, you know, list, a to-do list of what to do. Because sometimes you forget, you get wa you wander around, you get lost in the environment, and you're like, wait, well, what the hell is that supposed to be? That's what I ought to be. I wish I was a redneck mouse. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do with all it? That would be nice, but uh, apparently I'm British. So let's talk to you. Before you go, Soph. What's on your mind? Okay. I can't tell you how relieved I am to finally be a scout. I can't imagine you were nervous during your trials. My stomach felt like a prick. Oh, I was certainly nervous as well. My paws couldn't stop shaking. <laughs> 
Atasa said she didn't notice, but I think she was just being nice. I've got to say, I've been looking forward to our feast tonight all week. Though, I sort of wish it wasn't just for the scouts. It would be nice to have Mom and Pop and all my brothers and sisters there too. Ah, oh, wouldn't it? Well, next time we see your family, I'm sure they'll throw you a feast themselves. They're always so proud of you. I know. It's a little much sometimes, actually. Uh, wedding! Oh, Can right! I believe we're going to be married in just three days. Oh, Sophia. I've been dreaming about making you my wife since the day we danced at the name day festival. I'll never forget the way the roses smell took behind your ear. Oh, Liam, it is rather exciting, though. Everything is going to change. Yes, it will. But it's a good change. I was thinking about us going to visit my ancestral home in Southwood after the wedding, Castle Flore. I have such tiny figments of memory of the place, but I couldn't have been older than an infant. Ah, I want to see it now, and I want to see it with you. Maybe we could go to the western coast. I've always wanted to smell the sea. We can go anywhere and everywhere. All right, you're going to die. She's going to die. I mean, they're just setting this up. It's not like he has to do something in order to... It's like they already have their lives set. They already know what they're going to do. Y'all going to die. I mean, come on. You know you're going to die. All right, I guess that's it. Have a good night, my love. Oh, boy. Well, I, uh... Okay. You know, that's... A wonderful way to start this. I'm already hooked, uh, hooked up with the characters. I want to hear more about them. I want to see more about them. I want to see what goes on here. I'm fascinated by it. And I am going to be the best mouse! Um... However... Uh, that's all the time I have for this for today. We're going to come back and we're going to make some soup in the next episode. And we're going to see where that goes. I'm looking forward to this. I hope you guys are too. Thank you for hanging out with me again today. We will meet again in the next Dimination. Until then.